Hi everybody, my name is Andrew Gross and I'm a solutions consultant here at Dassault Systems SolidWorks here in Los Angeles, California. So today we're going to talk about accelerating product design with cloud-based collaboration. So I am super excited to share some of the stuff with you that you're going to see today. We've been talking about many of these tools for a number of years now and it's really truly my honor to be the person who uh, really can show you many of these tools for the first time. So today I'm going to tell you a story about a company called Icon. Icon's a manufacturer of off-road wheelchairs and their founder is dedicated to wilderness mobility and creating adaptive equipment for people who have disabilities to really help get them outside. In the words of Icon, they're changing lives through, the inno through innovation and technology. So the story I'm about to tell you will be based around the redesign of the, this very suspension system, and it'll be told through the day-to-day -day task of four characters. So I really want you all to watch out for how cloud-based and connected collaboration tools on the 3D Experience platform, which are accessible from any device, can really speed up the process of getting a product to market fast. So the team we'll be fo focusing on today, well, there are four individuals who aren't much different than many of you in attendance today. So what's their mission? Well, it's to refine this prototype design of the Icon Explore off-road wheelchair and prepare it for mass production. So let's get to know the team members a little bit. So Pete, he's the product and project manager. And just like many of us, he wears multiple hats all the while trying to stay focused on pulling together resources to get his job done. And here's Don. So Don, he's, a cre he's more of a creative CAD designer. He never sh shares, shies away from really complex, really industrial design type surfacing challenges. And here we have Debbie, and she's a more traditional CAD designer. She has a background in mechanical engineering, but she's also completely responsible for all of ICON's technical publications. And finally, we have Adam. Well, what team is complete without an engineering analyst? So Adam uses the most current analysis tools out there to get his job done on a daily basis. So we're going to start by describing Icon's highly collaborative product design environment. And it all starts with Pete. So he's doing his project manager duties, like researching the market and analyzing feedback from, product, uh, from prototype product testers. And he has to store all that information in a singular location, making it easy to access, making it easy for him to stay on top of, and making it easier to share with others on his team. So from all that data he collects, he formulates a project plan, and from those new products and, up, and, and uses that to help create a project for new products and updates to existing products that they currently have at ICON. And he does that by scheduling tasks and assigning those tasks to his design team. So both Debbie and Don, they use design and document, documentation tools to get their jobs done. But no job is finished until it's validated by their analyst, Adam. And when changes are made, it'll be important for everyone to be up to date with all of those changes, keeping track of the history and definitely not stepping on each other's toes. So when all that data is created, it'll need to be stored in a centralized location. So everyone at ICON can access what they need to stay productive. And Pete, well, he also needs to stay up to date on the product design process. But remember, he's not a CAD designer. He's a project manager. So he'll need to be able to, to easily access all of the CAD data in a very simple and viewable format. So, when I say it like this, I guess it sounds pretty simple, but when you take a couple steps back, well, it's a little overwhelming maybe. And it gets way more overwhelming when you're trying to use a bunch of disconnected applications to manage all of these responsibilities. So let's take a look at how easy all of this can be done with one unified cloud-connected sol solution to communicate, collaborate, and get it all done. 
So the team at Icon, they're working on a new product, the Icon Explorer. And it's Pete's responsibility to work with some early prototype testers and see where, really, and how this new product can be even better on its next release. So he's going to need to gather information, he's going to need to organize it, and definitely be able to distribute it to his team. So Pete, he starts off his day, really every day, in a dashboard right from his web browser, which allows him to monitor what's most important to him so he can get his job done. And one tab on his dashboard is dedicated to a collaborative design community where he can keep track of his team's progress as they approach the, approach the completion of this particular wheelchair design. This is where Don, Debbie, and Adam collaborate on the progress of their designs. So when Pete wants to find some CAD data, well, he just needs to simply search for it. He can quickly find the top-level wheelchair design that the team's been working on. And finding the correct data is a great first step. But Pete also needs to view it in 3D to order, in order to fully understand how his team has progressed on this design. So he'll simply drag it and drop the top-level assembly right into the viewer in his web browser. So the new prototype, it looks pretty good. So he can now return to his design community in order to provide his feedback and inform the team that they should proceed with manufacturing a dozen of these prototypes in order to conduct some market research with some early product testers to provide some feedback. So Pete, he has a separate feedback community where he can communicate directly with prototype testers who are outside of his organization. So we're going to fast forward a few months. The group of early prototype testers, well, they received their Icon Explorer, and they've provided some valuable feedback for Pete and his team. So they've given him some ideas of some possible design changes and enhancements to make the next version of the Icon Explorer even better. So Pete can filter just on the ideas that are provided to the testers. In addition, he can view the ideas pipeline that provides an overall view of all the ideas the prototype testers have come up with. This pipeline allows Peter to graphically show the early adopters which ideas the design team are reviewing, which are under development, or which have already been implemented in the next iteration. Another way to get really valuable feedback is to conduct a survey right from inside the community of prototype testers. Pete's asked them which characteristics of the wheelchair, if any, should be the biggest concern as they move forward as a design team such as stability or mobility, or how about comfort? One of the once the survey is complete, Pete can export those results so he can dive into that data. So now, as we move to Pete's research tab in his dashboard, well, he can view a collection of useful windows that provide information, which are relative, relevant to his company's focus, which is disabled athletes. In the top left of this page, well, it's displaying the results of that survey he just conducted with the prototype testers. He can easily see that weight is the biggest concern, as well as rider's comfort. You know, these are pretty interesting results. So Pete, he's going to want to share these findings with his team. So he publishes this graph and to write to the design community and adds a comment. He adds a quick title, a description. And that's all really he needs to inform the design team of the next phase of this project. So going back to the design community, Pete shares his findings with the team. We saw how Pete was able to get up to speed with the latest 3D model of the Icon Explorer. He conducted some market research on the external prototype testers and provided that feedback directly back to his design team all from one cloud-connected environment. So now P has an understanding of how to improve the wheelchair design, and it's now a great time to kick off a new project based on the prototype tester's feedback, more precisely the weight and the comfort issues. So keeping the team on, tied to a timeline, as well as ensuring that everything goes done on time, is Pete's biggest concern now. So let's return to Pete's dashboard. He'll go now to his Projects tab and create a completely new project focusing on the lightning and the comfort of the Icon wheelchair. He'll add an image and a title, a description to the project to allow it to stand out from the collection of other projects Pete may be currently working on. 
So projects, they're broken up by schedule, summary, tasks, members, and content. So the first thing Pete's going to do is he's going to add the members to the project. Pete will add Debbie and Dawn and Adam. And moving over to the schedule, well, he's going to want to zoom in on that schedule. And he's going to start by setting a milestone. So Pete, well, he's a big fan of move, working backwards from a goal. So for this project, the milestone is to share that final design with those early testers. And once that date's set, he can now create all the tasks that are needed to reach it. So removing unnecessary material, that may be the first task that needs to be completed. And he thinks that's going to be the longest. So he's going to say that's going to take five days for his designers to do. So once he's created uh, a task, additional details can be added, such as who's responsible. So for this task, because it's the most important, Pete's going to assign the entire team and make sure that they're fully aware of what to lighten so he can add that icon wheelchair assembly directly to the task. So Pete, he's that now going to assign each member with individual tasks so they can all work in parallel. Debbie will need to create some flashy marketing images. Pete's going to assign himself a task as a reminder to review and approve all design changes. Also, Don, he's going to need to address rider comfort. And lastly, Adam, well, he's going to need to validate the design and make sure that it's super safe and it won't fail in the field. So as we're creating these tasks, we may notice that some of these tasks, well, they may need to happen before others can even be started. Since most of these tasks rely on other tasks to complete, Pete will simply drag and drop the dependencies of the tasks in this Gantt chart so we can get a great visual of what needs to happen at what time. Making sure that all the tasks are organized and in the right order will help Pete stay on top of this very important project. So now the project, it's been identified, and the tasks have been distributed, so Pete's confident that the team's now all working on the same page and working towards the same common goal. Assigning tasks to the team members will fire off notifications so there's never confusion on what they need to work on. So now let's take a brief look at what Adam's doing. Adam's dashboard, well, it's a little different than Pete's since his responsibilities center around accessing data, collaborating with, commu with communities, and of course, tracking his to-do list. Pete's assigned Adam two tasks, and he's the primary owner of validating to ensure safety, and he's a part owner of the group to remove unnecessary material. When it comes to removing unnecessary material, Adam has a great idea that he wants to share with Adam, who's the lead CAD designer. If he comments directly in the task and mentions Adam's name, well, that will ensure that Don will get a notification of the comment. Adam believes the front suspension, well, at its current state, is over-engineered, which may be a good place for Don to start working to help lighten the design. After commenting on that task, he'll now take ownership of the safety validation task by dragging it right into the in-progress state. So this project planning tool, it's pretty amazing. Think about how you currently collaborate like this, create projects, and work with other team members. Most of us rely on email or meetings with design reviews. There's just so much here that helps us collaborate so quickly so information isn't just lost to the ether. So everything Adam and Pete have done up to this point has been done through a web browser, and it's all stored on the cloud.
So it's time to take a look at Don. He was assigned some tasks and he'll be using CAD to make the design changes. Don's dashboard, it's pretty similar to Adam's. So while Don's trying to think of how to lighten this design, well, it turns out that this notification came right through from Adam. Simply by clicking that notification, it launches the remove unnecessary material task and brings him directly to the comments area to see what Adam's written and look at his design about how to lighten lightweight that front suspension. Don will reply to the comment, and now he's ready to take action on his task. He'll drag, he'll drag remove unnecessary material into the in-progress state. And now, Don will use SolidWorks, which he can launch directly from his web browser to make those changes. So in SolidWorks, there's a unique task pane that will allow Don to directly connect to all of his cloud-connected data. So right from this task pane, Don can search for that front suspension assembly that Adam had mentioned. So he finds a lot of hits with the simple search string of front suspension. So Don's going to use tags to narrow down on metadata so he can refine his search and make sure that he finds the right assembly. Great, he found it. That was easy. More than just data that can be accessed, he can access information like creation date and maturity state. He can even look at things like the relations to this model and which parts are the children of this design. And very importantly, he can look at where this front suspension is used, if anywhere else besides the Icon Explorer. Don can see that this particular suspension design is only being used by the Icon Explorer, so he can confidently make those changes without worrying about affecting any other wheelchair models. So right from the search window, Don will be able to open that assembly right in SolidWorks. The task pane now shows the structure of this assembly, as well as whether or not Don is working with the latest and greatest revision. Don can also quickly determine if anyone already has ownership of the models. So Don decides to take ownership of the control arm and that top level front suspension assembly. His modifications are made to those control arms and you can see that the task pane now highlights that those changes, they've been made. So Don completed the design changes, but currently only he sees that those changes are available. Making sure everybody has access to the latest changes is imperative for good design collaboration. Back in SolidWorks, Don selects that top level assembly and decides to save his changes back to the cloud. During the save process, Don has the opportunity to create new revisions. Once that's completed, his session now will reflect the new revision as well as his release of ownership of those parts and assemblies. In addition to making new revisions of the parts, Don also wants to change their maturity state. He'll move this from in work to frozen, which is the intermediate state before being approved and released. All of these changes can be done from right within SOLIDWORKS, and those changes will be instantaneously updated and viewable on the cloud. So besides being the access point to his design data, the SOLIDWORKS task pane can also be a gateway to other important apps that Don requires. For example, his tasks. Wow, it's 
pretty cool what Don's able to do here. I mean, it's kind of like using PDM, but all on the cloud. All the changes he makes are now immediately able to be shared with other folks right from viewed within their web browser or shared or edited right within SolidWorks with no IT overhead. That's the coolest part. Right, so besides being that access point for his design, well, he can also access all of his tasks right here from SolidWorks Task Pane. So an identical view to the one from his dashboard, well, Don now has the ability to select his task and move it to the Done column. No need to reopen his web browser. The Task Pane is a one-stop shop for everything Don needs to get done. So Don, he's completed his design change. He stored the data on the cloud for everybody to access and has completed the task that Pete assigned to him. One last step would be to communicate all of this information to the design team. So as we return back to his browser-based dashboard, Don will drag the new front suspension right into the viewer that's living in his stored favorites area. Inside that viewer, Don may want to create an image so he can share it with the rest of the team. Instead of just sharing an image, Don is going to want to emphasize the changes, uh, so he's utilizing the pen tool to make things like circles and arrows so he can identify the cutouts and pockets that he's now made to this front suspension. Don also calculated how much less this new front suspension weighs versus the old one, and he's going to add that metric as a callout as well. So he's ready to share with, this rest, share with the rest of the team, so he captures an image and shares it with the design community. Moments later, a notif notification pops up informing Don that Pete has commented on his post. Pete congratulated Don on a job well done and mentions both Adam and Debbie, so they'll receive notifications as well, which will be their reminder for them to proceed with their tasks as well. So now let's move over to Debbie. So Debbie starts within SolidWorks and brings down the latest and greatest top-level Icon Explorer model right from the cloud. Now she can continue working on her marketing materials using any tools she likes, such as SolidWorks Visualize or SolidWorks Composer. So Debbie was able to choose the product that she wanted to use, like Visualize or Composer, but was also able to make sure that she was working with the latest and greatest and most current design that Don just edited. So if we fast forward a bit, Debbie has completed all of her marketing, marketing materials, and now it's time for her to communicate that information to the team. So from Debbie's dashboard, she's getting ready to share all of her new marketing material. And she'll start by creating a new favorites folder, just to make it easy to search for that content that she just created. And once that folder's created, she simply needs to drag and drop those deliverables right from her local desktop hard drive. So browser-based viewing, it needs to support all types of formats. So simply dragging and dropping that PDF right into her view area, we can see the images that Debbie has created. Wow, this stuff looks great and she wants to share this with these images with the rest of her design team. So in the comment, Debbie mentions that this is just an example of one of the images that she created, and she'll attach all the other marketing collateral to the task itself for super easy access. After moving the task to done, she decides to edit that task and reference her renderings right in the deliverable area so everyone can view it and easily find it.
So Debbie has completed the one task that was assigned to her, and she kept the team up to date with all of her progress. Well, a lot has happened, so let's get an overall view into the project through the lens of Pete, the project manager. So back in Pete's dashboard tab, the team has shared their favorites, so it's super easy for him to move between deliverables like design data and simulation results, which he just needs to drag into the viewer. Adam performed a stress analysis on the new front suspension design, and Pete's able to view those results right from within his web browser. This looks great, and Pete feels confident that the new design will be safe. Pete can also get up to date with all the marketing content that Debbie was building. He's pretty excited about what Debbie's put together, and he can't wait to show it to the early prototype testers. With a quick image grab and a note, Pete can keep those prototype testers up to date with the Icon Explorer redesign process. As it happens, while Pete was firing off that post to the feedback community, he receives a notification from Don and that he's completed that task about addressing the writer's comfort. Jumping to the projects view, Pete may want to get the big picture of his redesign project. He can graphically see which tasks have been completed, which are the ones in gray, versus the ones that he still needs to complete, which are in blue. He can quickly see that the project is progressing on schedule and nearing completion. All that's left is for him to approve all changes. So now, Pete may want to take a look at Don's new seat cushion design. And since that's the last step before he approves all the changes, well, he'll find, he'll look for the new seat cushion design right from Don's completed task. And all he needs to do is drag it right from the task to the favorites folder. As Pete returns to his viewing area, Pete can take a look at the new seat cushion design and get a good feel for what Don's done. Wow, Don put a lot of work into this, and Pete's really happy with what he sees. He's going to go ahead and post the new, an image of the new cushion design to the feedback community and get their take on what they think this is going to do to help the comfort of the Icon Explorer. At this point, well, Pete's ready to complete the task that he had assigned himself, which is approving all changes. Pete can select the top-level Icon Explorer and the seat cushion that Pete moved, and he can now set that maturity from frozen to released. So Pete has completed the project on time. He's feeling pretty good about himself and the redesigned Icon Explorer wheelchair. He's also really proud of his team and their collaborative effort. They were able to quickly turn around a new redesigned all-terrain wheelchair based on feedback from a group of early prototype testers. So that brings us to the conclusion of our design story. As we've seen, these four users they were able to communicate both internally and externally, create a project rich with tasks, various engineering tools, all the while working from the cloud. And since they were using SOLIDWORKS cloud and lifecycle management tools, they were able to stay informed at all times, regardless of which device they may have been working from. The ICON team was able to leverage the 3D Experience platform and its many apps, such as Project Planner, Bookmarks, 3D Play, Swim Communities, Dashboards, Simulia, XShape, and of course SolidWorks to accomplish all of this. So each member of the team was assigned a specific role, which contained those valuable apps so they can get their jobs done. Well, that's it for now. And once again, my name is Andrew Gross, and on behalf of Dassault System SOLIDWORKS, we want to thank all of you for joining this webinar today. So I'm going to leave you with one challenge. 
Would collaboration, and try to answer this question, would collaboration like this help you on your next design project? Well, we can't wait to hear your comments and feedback about that. And you may even be hearing from us sometime soon. So we'll be releasing a recorded version of this webinar very soon. Look out for that. And also in August, we're going to continue with the SOLIDWORKS 3D Experience platform webinars. We're going to take a deep dive look at XShape, which is our browser-based CAD product that focuses on sub-D modeling. Well, that's it for today, and bye for now. Thank you again for joining.